Today in this video we are going to find out the dissociation constant of acetic acid when the limiting molar conductivity value and molar conductivity va values are given or the conductivity values are given. The conductivity for this concentration of acetic acid is this and this is the limiting molar conductivity. How can we find the dissociation constant? So uh, dissociation cost constant means that uh, it's equal to the ratio of dissociated ions. So how how much of the molecules are dis has dissociated divided by the undissociated molecules. So let's see this is the equation of equilibrium. It tells you that the mm, reaction has reached the equilibrium where the forward and the backward reactions are taking place at the same rate and uh, we can write that as the equilibrium expression as Ka and suppose that uh, this is our concentration C and uh, say some percent of this acetic acid, acid has dissociated into H plus and acetate ion so just for example in order to make things simpler we are taking uh, alpha as 10% although we don't know what is the percent right now so if we take alpha as 10% we can say that 10% of this concentration has dissociated into H plus and acetate ion that means for every molecule of acetic acid we get 1H plus and 1 acetate so if we take 100 um, of these molecules then 10% of this has dissociated it and it gave us uh, 10 of this and 10 of this okay so we can say that 10% of the C has been generated for H plus and same for this okay so what we are left with is uh, suppose 10% has dissociated, that means 90% has left. So 1 is our 100%, 100 by 100, 100%, and 1 minus alpha is our 90% of the concentration has not dissociated. So we can say that our alpha C into alpha C divided by 1 minus alpha C and by cancelling out C we get alpha square C by 1 minus alpha. This means these are dissociated molecules alpha square C and divided by 1 minus alpha okay so uh, since we're not given the value of alpha we need to find it from the values given over here so alpha means over here the molar conductivity of the electrolyte by limiting molar conductivity of the electrolyte okay how can you find the molar conductivity so it's simple to find molar conductivity what you need to do is to divide it by the conductivity value divide by the concentration so here C is given in moles per liter it doesn't matter if you take moles per liter or you take moles per thousand centimeter cubed or you take moles per meter cube it's all the same these are equivalent fractions so we can take that as moles per liter and we'll get the value for molar conducti conductivity to be 48.15 Siemens centimeter square per mole Okay, and the limiting molar conductivity values are given over here, so we can write for alpha as forty-eight point one five semen per semen centimeter square per mole, and three ninety point five. We can see here is that the value for limiting molar conductivity is quite high than this, because when we take 
limiting molar conductivity, it means that we are taking the, the electrolyte at infinite dilution where all the electrolytes, where all the electrolyte or molecules has dissociated and we project that figure in one mole, we get a high value and so it's true for this. Here the concentration is not that diluted, it's not at infinite dilution, so we have lesser number of dissociated ions in it and that means they will conduct less and so we project the value in one mole we get a lesser relatively lesser uh, conductivity value for one mole for this concentration and uh, so since we have got the alpha over here it simply means that or in very simple words it means that the total number the total number of molecules by what part that has dissociated so this is my what part has dissociated so it's like one by four F out of total four parts one part is dissociated it can be like 100 by 25 so out of 100 parts 25 parts has dissociated so it gives you a fraction or the percentage you know of the molecules that are dissociated so from this value we can generate the alpha values once we have generated the alpha value we can put the value of alpha over here over here so since we have got the value of alpha we can go on for ka you know the dissociated part that's alpha squared c so here we will get our alpha values by dividing it and we get the value as 1.2 sorry 0.1233 this is my alpha that is the percent dissociation it's 12.3 percent so it tells you that 12.33 percent has has dissociated so we can say that alpha square squaring alpha multiplying it with the concentration and then dividing it by 100% minus 12.33% or 1 minus 12.1233 we get the k value as 1.78 into 10 to the power minus 5 moles per liter just plug in the values and get the answer moles per liter thanks for watching the video